Welcome back to Mathuino. This is the third question from this year's Chinese Gaokao. In the triangle ABC, point D is on side AB, and the length of BD is two times of the length DA. The vector CA is equal to m. The vector CD is n. Solve the vector of CB. This is a very common question about vectors. How can I solve it? For solving this kind of vector questions, we have a common method. But before solving it, I have to explain you the formula and prove it. Triangle ABC and D is on the side AB. We just from this the first part of our known to draw a triangle ABC and a line CD. This is a triangle ABC. Not special, a common triangle. Now I want to prove a formula. Suppose AD divided by AB. The ratio of AD and AB. Suppose it is T, because D is on the side AB. So AD divided by AB, it is T. T is greater than zero and smaller. Then what? I want to ask you a question. What's the ratio of DB and AB? What's the value of DB divided by AB? Yes, it's one minus T. Now we'll calculate the vector CD. Calculated from the vector CA and the vector CB. And the ratio of AD and AB, the ratio of DB and AB. Now we draw a line parallel to CB through the point D and intersect CA with point E. And also draw a line parallel to CA through the point D and intersect CB with the point F. Now, vector CD, it can be written as. ED plus the vector FD. But because AD divided by AB is T and DB divided by AB is 1 minus T. So what's the value of the vector ED? From this, AD is T times AB. Now we pay attention to the triangle. ADE and the triangle ABC. Because ED, the line ED is parallel to the line CB. So these two triangles are similar. And AD is equal to T times AB. So the vector ED is equal to T is also to is also equal to T then times the vector CB. And now What's the value of the vector FD? According to this, we can solve DB is equal to 1 minus D, then times AB. Also, pay attention to, to the triangle BDF and the triangle BAC. They are also similar. So the vector FD is equal to 1 minus D then times the vector CA. Ah, now I know. The vector CD can be written as because the vector ED is equal to T times the vector CB. And then plus the vector FD can be written as 1 minus T then times the vector CA. And T is this. 1 minus t is this. So we can get this formula. According to this formula, in our this problem, this math question, CD is n. CD is n. CB, we solve it. And we suppose it is lambda. So it's t times lambda. t in our problem is because BD is 2 times of dA. So our t is 
one third. One third then times lambda, and then plus one minus one third is two thirds, and then times the vector C A is M. And you solve it. We can multiply by three on the on the both sides, and three n is equal to lambda then plus two m, and then you can solve. C B is equal to minus two m then plus three n.